हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर स्टडिंग प्लांट्स प्लांट्स आर लिविंग थिंग्स वी नो दैट ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स कैन मूव एक्सेप्ट प्लांट ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स कैन ब्रीद ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स नीड फूड टू लिव टू ग्रो एंड ऑल लिविंग बींग्स can reproduce to maintain their number on the earth reproduce means re means again produce means to make or manufacture to generate that means or like all ad, um, like other living beings plants also reproduce so the reproduction in plants means to produce new plants of their own kind to maintain the number of plants on the earth plants reproduce of their own kind mainly in two ways reproduction through seeds and reproduction through other part of the plant like uh, underground stem the stem cutting roots and leaves so let us study these two ways of reproduction in plants in some detail first of all how plants reproduce through seeds that means how plants reproduce through seeds into a new plant first of all we should know that where do we find seeds of course you are knowing that flower makes fruits and fruits store seeds that means seed of the plant usually develop in the inside the fruit and when the fruit ripens the seed becomes mature and then these seeds can dispersed through different agents like uh, air water insects birds animals and human beings and this way the seeds drop into the soil but do you think that all the seeds can grow to form new plants no all the seeds do not grow to form a new plant because seeds need favorable condition all the seeds do not grow to form new plants because they need to grow a favorable condition like appropriate air water soil and temperature and in case of unfavorable condition many of them are die you can see the picture of seed one seed is entire seed and other one is splitted uh, see the entire seed in which black dotted part is micropyle from which uh, water is allowed to go inside the seed and uh, the brown part is seed coat that is outer layer of the seed and the um, inner part is cotyledons the seed leaves which provide food to the growing plant until it starts making food with the help of its own leaves you can see here the seed of gram p and moong dal and this is micropyle from which water goes inside and inside it there are seed leaves which is called cotyledons which provide food to the growing plant until it starts making food with the help of its own leaves outer brown part is seed coat and inside the seed coat uh, 
there are seed leaves which is called cotyledons which provide food to the growing plant until it starts making food with the help of its own leaves and in moong dal the seed coat is in green color now what is the process of seed germination you can see here this is the seed of moong which you can see it is sprouted the green part is the outer layer that is seed coat and the yellow part you can see is cotyledons that is seed leaves which is called cotyledons and which provide food to the plant until it starts making food with the help of its own leaves and white part is the root which goes under the ground and absorb water for the plant and uh, cotyledons will turn into shoot and grow into leaves so there are four stages of seed germination first of all seed absorb water that is imbibe water in second stage water activate enzymes and growth begins and the in third the seed grows a root to get water from the soil and the last one the shoot grows on leaves and and seed grows and develop into a seedling that is young plant so the process by which a seed grows and develops into seedling that is into young plant is called seed germination that is seed germinate into new plant that is how plants reproduce through the seeds so we learned that how a new plant grow through the seed now think what will happen for those plants that bears no seeds plants like banana has no seeds is it possible for that type of plant to grow without seed is it possible to grow plants without seed yes reproduction in plants without seed is possible through the different parts of the plant like underground stem the stem cutting roots leaves etc this type of reproduction in plant in which plant grow with other part of the plant without involvement of seed that is without using seed is called vegetative reproduction there is a great importance of vegetative reproduction because it is an easier and um, faster method to increase the number of plants of same kind and it also helps for those plants which do not bear seeds now let us study how different parts of the plant involve in the reproduction of plant let let us study how different parts of the plant are involved in the process of reproduction in plants like banana potato and ginger a new plant grows from the underground stem in these plants a part of the stem present un- under the ground which grows and develops roots and shoots to make new plant so this process is called reproduction through underground stem in some plants new plant can also be grown by using the stem cutting of a grown up plant plants like uh, sugarcane bougainvillea rose and grapes they are grown up with their uh, with their stem cuttings and this process of reproduction is called reproduction by stem cutting and in some plants like dahlia asparagus when fleshy roots are placed in water numerous roots appear at the lower end 
and shoot at the upper end similarly in sweet potato carrot etc new plants arise from its roots itself this process of reproduction is called reproduction through roots in plants like bryophyllum new young plants arise from the notches of the leaves where small buds are present these small buds get detached from the leaf and develop into new plants and this is known as reproduction through leaves so we find that different plants reproduce either through seeds or from other plant other part of the plant and thus maintain and increase the number of plants of their own kind and we know that flowers produce fruits and most fruits bear seeds seeds when sown from new plants the seeds of various plants get dispersed through various agents such as such as air water insects animals birds and human beings and the transfer of seed from one place to another is called seed dispersal there are different ways of seed dispersal man made ways or natural ways in man made ways man selects seeds of useful plants and shows them in the soil to get those plants and uh, you must have seen farmers sowing seeds of different useful plants like wheat maize and mustard etc and seeds also dispersed in natural ways plants use lots of methods to scatter their seeds especially those growing in forest like dispersal by wind dispersal by water dispersal by birds insects and rodents dispersal by humans and animals and some seeds are scattered away the seeds of arc thistle dandelion disperse through wind and these seeds are very light small and have hair on them so they are enable them to fly with the wind and get dispersed and those plants which are near water bodies can disperse their seeds through water like coconut water lily hydrilla and lotus are the examples of plants which disperse their seeds through water these seeds float on the water for some distance before being carried away and sunk into mud on the shore of fringes of the water body and this way water helps in dispersal of seeds of those plants sometimes birds like sparrow insects like ants rodents like rats squirrel etc carry fruits and grains to their burrows nest and other places and they drop some grains or seeds on their way which may grow into plants in the new environment and this way seeds dispersal is done by the birds insects and rodents humans and animals also disperse the seeds when the fruits which are fleshy and juicy are eaten by humans and other animals and their seeds are thrown away like uh, the seeds of watermelon papaya mango pumpkin and gourd sometimes get dispersed by this method and these seeds grow into new plants when they get suitable conditions and many plants like castor burdock and mimosa depend on animals including humans to carry their seeds away from their parents plant their fruits are thorny or have hooks on them they get stuck to the clothes of humans or skin and fur of animals and they get carried to different places where they fall down and grow into new plants thus the humans and animals also disperse the seeds some fruits crack and burst on ripening and scatter their seeds far away from the parent plant and may grow into new plants like peas lady fingers and beans disperse their seeds by this method now you must be knowing that how plants grow at all places 
so the dispersal of seeds plays an important role in increasing the number of plants all over the world